60% of all the gelatin goes to the food market. 40% more or less goes to the pharmaceutical market for the production of hard capsules, soft capsules. And in the food market, about 60% of this is going to the confection. So confection is a huge, huge application for, uh, for, uh, for, for gelatin. <clears throat> and in this uh, application, you have three different types, let's say. You have the normal, traditional gummies. So everybody knows the Haribo gummies. Very popular all over Europe. Strange that you don't find them in other uh, areas than, than Europe. So they are quite isolated, let's say, in Europe. But they have huge uh, production units. So this is the traditional way of making, of making gummies. And then you have variations. You have the famous English wine gum. English wine gum, who, who often is a combination of gelatin and starch. You have the famous Dutch licorice. You can have the sweet ones, but you can also have the very salty ones. I don't know if you're familiar with the salty ones. Mm. To me, this is disgusting, but <laughs> 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 I don't like it. You're not growing the market this way, <laughs> Paul. This is low bloom. In this one, in this application, for example, they use low bloom. Very special, very typical for the low bloom market. Um, so this is about gummies. And then you start uh, with another range of uh, confection, which is then the aerated confectionery. So a gummy recipe, you split it in two, and one of it can be aerated up to a density of 0 0.8, 0 0.9. And then this is deposited on the same machine. You first deposit, in fact, the transplant one, then you aerate, and on top you deposit the, the aerated one. So this is one application. Then if you go deeper in the aeration process, <coughs> you can go to uh, what they call deposited marshmallows, where you have an aeration of about of a density of about 0 0.6. And if you go deeper, then you have the real marshmallow, the extruded marshmallow, with a density of about 0 0.25. For this, you need very specific gelatins because the process makes, once it is aerated, a rope comes out after extrusion and it needs to gel immediately. And after two hours, this is already packed. Very different from a gummy. A gummy stays about 24 hours in starch before you can pack it. And then you have something in between. Then you have, let's say, a typical Belgian product. The tip, who is from Belgium here? I am. You are? So you know the, mar the mellow cakes, eh? The mellow cakes is a very fantastic product, which is in between bakery and confectioner. So you have a marshmallow on a cookie covered with chocolate. Uh, it's from Milka. <coughs> then you have the product from Lotus, who is a marshmallow on a soft, on a soft cookie. And then you have the very special uh, Cuberdons. You know them Ghent. as well? Ghent. Coming from <laughs> Ghent. And in Ghent, there is even a fight, a fight on this. Yeah. You have two producers, and everybody claims, in fact, that they have the original <laughs> recipe. <laughs> and on the little market in Ghent, it's not the first time they are fighting for this. Mm -hmm. Inside, you have a liquid, a liquid part. And this liquid part is a combination of gelatin and gum arabic. These are not nice, these ones. I think this is from the, from the other ones. Because